Hey, hi friends. Welcome to my channel. So friends, after getting so much of comment in my previous video, which I have published on my channel, all of you know, I have revealed the salary of a Linux system administrator, right? Who is having two plus years of experience or a three plus years of experience into this IT industry, right? How much he is going to get with my own authentic data. So same again, the today's session, I am going to reveal that being a cloud engineer who is having four plus years of experience, how much he is going to get into this IT industry, friend. So friends, let's start the session without wasting much time. But if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for all the latest notification, my friend. So friends, let's start the session. So friend, in the previous videos also, I have told you, I have started my journey as an application engineer. And from there, I have moved as a Linux system administrator and partially a VMware administrator. And from there, I have moved my career to a cloud engineer. And since Linux is always with me, so it was a partial role as a Linux system administrator, right? But being a cloud engineer, your foundation should be strong. I was keep on telling you this thing. So Linux should be always with you. So your role, you cannot eliminate yourself from Linux, my friend, whether you are working as a cloud engineer or you are working as a DevOps engineer. But coming to the point, okay, today's session that how much a cloud engineer who is having four plus years of experience is getting into this IT industry, friend. And I am going to compare that data with my own authentic data, the salary which I have received when I was working as a cloud engineer in cognizant my friend right so so friends you can google it so you are going to get so many websites which can give you the average salary of a cloud engineer right who is having four plus years of experience so same i have done also so in the internet i found this my friend so you can see it's clearly mentioned as a cloud engineer right and these are the salary comparison the data which this particular website has gathered that is from 15.5k comments or I'm not sure from how much authentic data this is. But yes, it is public data which is available in the internet. Uh, there are many websites you can go through, you can compare, right? But it's telling that cloud engineer salary in India, it's somewhere average. I'm just talking about average salary who is having four plus years of experience. He's going to get somewhere around like in the 7.3 to 7.5 lakhs maybe it would it would be like 9 lakhs also so but it will fall in the range of 7 to 9 lakhs my friend so again if you are a cloud engineer who is having four plus years of experience so he's going to get a salary of 7 plus lakhs my friend yeah so even you can see what is the lowest you are going to get but i am talking about my friend the average salary this is what the average salary is all about right in india especially and if we compare with other departments suppose if you are a software engineer or a tester or a qa tester so that also they were also getting somewhere around like 7.3 lakhs and if you are into it and information security there also it is somewhere around 7.2 lakhs and if you are hardware and networking right might be somebody has asked me in this how much he is going to get suppose uh, he is having five plus years of experience into storage, right? There were comments, my friend, right? So you can compare with these salaries, my friend, that a hardware and networking guy is going to get 7.4 years of experience. So friends, you can see that if you are having one to two years of experience, so you are going to get 4.4 lakhs. And if you are having two to three years of experience, you are going to get 5.2 lakhs. Similar, you are going to get when you are having four plus years of experience that I have told you, it is almost seven plus lakhs and it will fall almost in the range of seven to nine lakhs my friend so this data how much this data and even similar designation if you are it's not only a see when i worked in cognizant at that time uh, i was working mainly into aws my friend right so if you have a 
question or a query right sir like how much i am going to get as a azure cloud engineer right or uh, as a aws cloud engineer so that will also fall somewhere in the range of 7.5 to 9 lakhs my friend you can clearly see these are the similar designations right which is having four plus years of experience and what top skill i was keep on telling you that it's not only if you go and learn cloud and you are start getting seven almost 7.5 lakhs no i was keep on telling you you have to include linux my friend you have to include some kind of automation whether you know python or you know shell scripting right and i have covered enough content into linux and shell scripting in my channel so you can visit all those playlists all those interview question and answer my friend which is going to help you to get a better package my friend right so you can see these are the top skill for a cloud engineer right and these are the companies which are and at the same time i have clearly told you the salary is a you cannot confirm it totally depends upon company to company uh, right somebody has asked me that whether it depends upon the product based company or a service based company yes it's obviously depend upon a product based company and a service based company as well my friend it depends upon you are from tier 2 cities or a tier 3 cities right or tier 1 cities right and how was your interview went well or everything there are multiple factors which involves for a salary but i am just talking on the basis of what is going to be like if you talk about mumbai bangalore pune right uh, these are the it hubs or hyderabad right so on this city these are this is the average salary you can get it if you are having four plus years of experience as a cloud engineer my friend now the main point is coming over here so when i joined cognizant as a cloud engineer right my designation was different okay that is, i cannot tell you as per the confidential policy of a company but at that time my role was mainly into cloud i told you plus linux and automation as well after that since i am having almost 12 plus years of experience right so you can understand from there after that i have started the devops journey my friend so in early 5 plus years of experience i was mainly into linux plus cloud and plus you can say vmware administrator and at the same time shell scripting and these all skill set i have continuously carrying till date when i am managing a complete devops team when i have started as a devops engineer senior devops engineer lead devops engineer and then managing a team so you can understand its whole journey my friend right but now what i was getting when i was having full plus years of experience right as a cloud engineer my friends here is my pay slip my friend so due to the company policy and confidential i cannot reveal all the data over here right so you can see it's my salary slip okay i cannot tell you the month and all but i was getting exactly 7.5 lakhs my friend uh being a cloud engineer in cognizant when i am having four plus years of experience and this is the take home i was taking so you can see if you divide almost 7.5 lakhs by 12 so you are getting 62000 in hand and after deducting all the taxes your pf and all you are going to get almost 50000 in hand my friend right so you can clearly understand from this salary slip right how much i was getting as a basic how much i am getting as a hra right and what was the total earning for me right uh, when i was having almost 7.5 lakhs of package as a cloud engineer and having four plus years of experience my friend so friends i hope i have given a very good insight of a salary who is having four plus years of experience as a cloud engineer into this it industry and i am 100% sure that this video is going to help you my friend right to upscale your career into this it industry my friend so friend let's end up the session here only 
for more videos like this just stay tuned to my channel and please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for all the latest notification my friend please do subscribe to the channel more and more so i can come up with more videos like this so friends just do take care of yourself your loved one bye bye and jai hind